Welcome to another episode of Watch Once Over. Today we're going to be looking at the Maurice Lacroix Acorn Venturer. You can pick this watch up at azfinetime.com and here's the phone number. Now this watch is a beautiful watch. This is the Maurice uh, Lacroix um, Acorn Venturer. This retails for uh, uh, about $2,700 and I believe this watch is worth every penny. It's a 43 millimeter case. It has um, a Gerald Genta uh, style integrated case, and this is going to be um, similar to a, like an like an Artemis uh, PJ, like an AP, like a Royal Oak uh, type style watch. Now this is 300 meters of water resistance, a beautiful blue starburst dial. It has the uh, ML115 movement, which is a um, premium SW200. Uh, uh, dash one special movement, which the uh, shock system has been converted to an Inca block system uh, for shock resistance, and this watch is just lovely. Now, getting up on the watch, the dial is a beautiful uh, sunburst dial, uh, marine blue with those gold accents and silver trim. Now the bezel has these gold. Uh, uh, rider tabs similar to a Breitling. You have a coin edge uh, bezel that curves a little bit at the top. Uh, flat sapphire, anti reflective coating, gold Maurice uh, Lacroix, applied emblem, applied um, indices, sword style gold hands. And these indices are different than most because um, they come in like a rectangle uh, shape. Once you get up uh, close on them, you can see the shape of them are, is different than most indices. Now you have that uh, home plate type uh, 12 o'clock indice. Kind of, kind of reminds me of a home plate of a, of, of a um, movement of a baseball field. Then you have a gold surround on a date box with a black wheel. Now this dial is just striking and the gold accents are lovely. You have a ceramic um, full loomed bezel. Uh, and we're going to take a look at that in a second. Uh, 12 o'clock pip. This is a, a rated diver. So you have a screw down crown with uh, removable crown guards, a screw down back. And the back plate is adorned with the Maurice Lacroix logo. And then you have some other relief on there that's beautiful. Now this case is screwed in and look at the butterfly clasp. You get the perlaging on the butterfly clasp, twin trigger deployment, Maurice Lacroix logo, really nice brushing. And this bracelet is one of the nice, nicest finished bracelets I've seen. Now if looking at the case, you have this beautiful brushing and you have this line of polish that goes down the top that is really sharp but that extends down to the bracelet see then it goes all the way down the bracelet and it keeps on going all the way around that's really nice you don't get a break in that polish really nice beveling and it's just done in an excellent way also on that side as you can see And I want to say this bracelet is one of the nicest bracelets I've ever had the pleasure of checking out. The bracelet um, is, a fix with, is a fix with screws. No pins and collars here. Each of these uh, links on here is all individual. So all these gold pieces are, are all separate pieces for flexibility. You have real nice uh, articulation in this bracelet. You got a screw down crown with the Maurice Lacroix logo. Really nice knurling on this crown. And then let's check out the bezel. You have a 120 click bezel. It's kind of muted in sound. Easy to grab these rider tabs. But there's no back play at all on this bezel period. 
There's no back play. This is one of the most beautiful divers I've ever had a chance to handle, especially at this price. Now, I'm going to do a loom shot. Generous amount of bee, uh, of, um, of, um, of uh, loom on here. And that's the loom. This loom lasts all night. It's super strong. This is a uh, super luminova. And this is really, really, really good loom. This isn't your run of the mill loom. This is that professional grade type loom that's going to last all night. I highly, highly recommend this watch. If you're looking for a diver and you want something different, this Maurice Lacroix Acorn Venturer is the bee's knees. The printing on here is excellent. I don't see anything amiss in the dial. The case finish is A1. This this case finishing is great. I mean, this is like Rolex type finishing. It's really nice. The brushing on here is excellent. The polish work is excellent. The loom is all applied evenly. And what's cool about this, and I'm going to show you again, the loom is applied evenly on the bezel and the dial. Usually one is stronger than the other, but they made sure they got this right. And I'll show you again. Looks the same. It's applied evenly. So that bezel and that dial is applied just about the same. And that's a good thing. This thing is sweet. Now, I'll try it on my wrist, which is 7.25 inches. Where am I Seiko today? Twin trigger deployment. And that's what it looks like on my wrist. This is a 43 millimeter case. But on my wrist, which is 7.25 inches, it wears just great. I really like this uh, Acon Venturer. And I do have a Maurice uh, Lacroix slated in the near future for me. I do have one of these slated in the near future for me. I really like this watch a lot. About 12 millimeters thick. The lug, the lug. Uh, it's about 51. And then the case is going to be a 43. And this also has uh, quick release tabs. So you can uh, do uh, quick strap changes. Let me show you how that works. You just pull these two tabs and it comes right off. Pull the tabs again. Line it up. And it goes on that quick. Awesome system for changing straps. You might want to consider this. This watch is 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 nice. They have a couple of different colorways. I like this two-tone one. It's beautiful. And I think this is a viable competitor to any luxury diver out there, especially in the loom department. And it's easy to service because you have that Salita SW200. That's the watch once over for today anyway. Tell me what you guys think about this Maurice Lacroix Acorn Venturer uh, retailing for $2,690. So you can get that at azfinetime.com once again. My name is Big E. That's the watch once over for today. I appreciate you guys watching. God bless. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one.